some great news from the latest scientific research. Danish scientists prove that the sun has a larger influence on the climate than CO2. What has been shown for the first time and actually peer-reviewed and published in Nature magazine is that in effect the sun controls the amount of cosmic rays reaching the earth and it's the cosmic rays that form nuclei that form the low clouds and the low clouds over the earth are the clouds that reflect the sunlight back therefore cooling the earth so where you've got low solar activity you have a lot of cosmic rays getting in lots of clouds and cooling and where you have high solar activity they block the cosmic rays and therefore you have warming this historic solar activity graph now shows high activity when you get the medieval warming period and low activity when you get the little ice age first time we have the mechanism if you like the maths to show its influence the implications of this new work are huge it means that the whole basis of the climate alarmism world has gone the chat is the basis for the entire cop 26 program up until now scientists have not understood how the sun controlled the amount of cosmic rays reaching the earth and therefore the cloud formation this statement has now been conclusively proven to be wrong. Just like the Arctic ice reflects sunlight back into space, so do low clouds. Hopefully we can enjoy all the benefits of the extra CO2 that we've pumped into the atmosphere, which have, to some extent, won the atmosphere, but the benefits have been enormous. And here are just a few.